you'll see that overnight um, we have published a report, uh, Tech, Media and Gaming um, Results Wrap. Um, so in there you'll see some key changes to forecasts, you'll get some outlook commentary from the companies and our key picks exiting the reporting season. Um, I'll just talk to the hits and misses and our key picks in um, th those sectors. Uh, so this chart in front of you'll see just the index performance. The technology sector has been um, the best performer over the last 12 months and in the last month. And gaming has um, started to rebound after a very tough last 12 months. If we sort of delve a little bit deeper into those subsectors sub to see what is performing, you'll see the best performers in tech over the last 12 months have been Megaport and Ansarada. Uh, luckily for us, they've been, well, they were our key picks around 12 months ago, and they have performed strongly with Megaport up around 200% and Ansarada up around 100%. Um, unfortunately, we did move Megaport back to a hold too soon, but we are hoping you'll get a chance to um, add that quality name to portfolios at some point. Uh, and also in that um, basket is NextDC, which has been our key pick and still is our key pick. It's up around 60% uh, and was obviously a strong performer in February. Um, so in terms of the sector itself, we do have a neutral view on the telco sector and we, sorry, the technology sector, and we see um, some value in the gaming sector. Uh, so the hits and misses, um, as measured by share price reaction, basically in February, uh, next DC, uh, it was a slight beat on the results side and the market got very excited about this name. Uh, to be honest, we're not, um, there was not really a lot of new news for us in that result. Um, we know that next DC is levered to some very strong growth thematics. Um, but nonetheless, the market got a lot more confidence in that thematic and the share price ran. Uh, Megaport uh, did run. We had flagged it as one that was likely to disappoint and we got that wrong. We thought it would disappoint because management had said to expect slow sales uh, and our interpretation was that earnings would decline quarter on quarter as they laid in some new costs. Um, sales were weak in that quarter, uh, but what happened is some timing uh, and some FX gains and effectively the earnings were kind of flat quarter on quarter. Uh, just letting you know, they have still guided to earnings declining in the second half as additional costs get layered into this business to uh, drive long-term growth. Uh, another big performer was Ansarada. Uh, result was slightly better than expected, but really what happened is an M&A firm lobbed a bid for Ansarada. So it's really all about that going forward. The fact that it's a private equity firm that specializes in data rooms or M&A um, that's buying Ansarada at the bottom of the cycle is not lost on me, clearly suggesting there's lots more M&A to come across the board. Uh, and then finally, on the Beats candidates, um, uh, WiseTech, it did have a small beat on the revenue front and tighter cost management meant revenue, um, meant margins were better than expected. On the misses side, you can see there two stocks, Data3 and Star. Data3 ran very strongly on a January trading update. Uh, there was some vague wording in that update, which probably led investors to think that the operating conditions in Data3 were getting better and there was an acceleration in sales around AI. But when the result came out in February, what we saw was the beat was actually almost entirely from interest income and the operating conditions had softened a little bit for Data3. So it took a hit on that. Uh, and on Star, we saw underlying EBITDA fell short of our expectations and missed consensus by about 16%. Um, but despite this miss, the shares did react strongly on optimism around the remediation process and better than feared outcomes um, around Star Sydney. Um, so just touching on our key picks uh, and why. So number one in the tech space, Next DC, as you all know, it's a strategic data center supplier to cloud, AI and businesses. All of these require substantial data center space, which means Next DC has some very strong pricing power. Uh, it's the leader in this space and we expect more contract wins to flow and that will underpin earnings growth for a long period of time. Uh, next on the list is Objective Corp, uh, which is James Phyllis's key pick. It's an enterprise software provider to business and government. They had a very transitional last 12 months, but management are now guiding to record sales in the second half. This should underpin some impressive organic growth and add to that, we think the potential for some uh, value enhancing M&A given they've got a significantly under-levered balance sheet. Uh, a slightly new name here, we've replaced Ansarada with AI Media. Obviously, Ansarada, uh, unfortunately, unlikely to stick around. Uh, AI Media, if you're not familiar with it, is the dominant provider of captioning for live broadcast in Australia, New Zealand, uh, and North America. 
they basically transitioned their business uh, model a few years ago to embrace AI, which caused a lot of pain in the earnings profile of the business. But they have come out the other end now and it's growing fast. So this is an AI play, it's founder led, it has net cash and an attractive free cash flow yield. Uh, it is of course a small cap stock, so certainly uh, for those with a higher risk tolerance. Uh, if we move on to the media side of things, for those also with a higher risk toler tolerance, we have Camplify, which is Steve Sassine's key small cap uh, pick. It's the ANZ leader in peer-to-peer -peer RV marketplaces, uh, management have executed very well in Australia and are looking to take that success overseas. Uh, if they tackle that and succeed, we think there's potential for some pretty significant value creation. Seek, as you all know, is the leading online provider for uh, recruitment and education in APAC. Uh, we do expect uh, job volumes to drop this year, but pricing power or price rises from the new pricing model um, should underpin some very strong earnings growth for Seek in the year ahead. And last but not least, in the gaming space, Leo's key pick is Jumbo Interactive, a uh, digital lottery company with charity lottery offerings in Australia, the UK and Canada. We're expecting some strong organic growth coupled with consistent free cash flow and the potential for some new contract wins and M&A. Uh, so that's um, that's the reporting season wrap from Tech Media and Gaming.